Okay, um, Robert here again at Mod Science, modscience.net, uh, Facebook Mod Science. All right, so I was initially just going to show you the rigid bender, and in, in like the earlier part of the video, or maybe even a separate video, um, you saw some of that. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the most glorious unboxing video, but who gives a damn, really? Um, so what I'll be doing here today, I have another build. It's a Ryzen 5 um, uh, 1600, and it's installed into a Corsair 570X uh, tempered glass case, so it's pretty cool looking. And uh, I'll be using the um, EK's custom loop. I've got a, like a Revo D5 and all that kind of stuff, and a 360 millimeter uh, radiator mounted in the front. So what I'll be doing, uh, this guy right here is going to feed out of the radiator into the new monoblock that I have. And um, what I'll show you is just kind of a video of me bending this, this, uh, this tubing um, at a 90 degree angle. And then it's going to bend outward, down, and then inward again. So kind of like uh, a 90, uh, another 90, and then another 90 pointing into it. So. Uh, hopefully this comes out pretty good. You're just going to kind of see the build log as I go along with this. Uh, here's hoping my, um, uh, my, my camera doesn't run out of space. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you the earlier part of the uh, heating of the tubing. I, won't, I probably won't record too much of this just until um, it actually kind of gets wet. But anyway, I have a bowl of distilled water right here. I, didn't I don't necessarily use soap. This is EK's 12 millimeter outer diameter. Um, um, PETG tubing, uh, a ruler obviously, uh, uh, Primo Chills Rigid Bender. This is just a standard little pipe cutter I bought off of Amazon, pretty useful. And then I've got also a, um, I forget what else this thing is called, it's a, uh, it's a drill bit um, and what it does is that it actually fits into the tubing itself, this is um, in millimeters, and it's 10 millimeter inner diameter tubing. So. What it does is allows you to, to, to get rid of all the plastic uh, burrs that, that form whenever you cut it. Pretty useful to have. I mean, you could spend a lot of money on like a, a tube cutter, um, but these two tools used com um, in combination work pretty well. Uh, I do also have um, Alpha Cool's little bending tool here too. Um, this is actually coming rather useful, but I wanted to get the Primo Chill Rigid Bender just because, you know, I wanted to, to make sure I had enough uh, tools on hand to be able to get all this stuff done. So again, uh, this is a Wagner. Um, uh, heat gun. <laughs> I forget what the model is. Uh, I'll actually post results for you at a later time. But I think it was like 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, for a while, you couldn't find these things on Amazon. I mean, this saw PETG and hard hardline tubing is actually taken off fairly well. But um, great tool, um, very inexpensive, high quality. Um, you know, it's got a flat base, so you know you can keep it laid. You can lay it down, so it doesn't move around, right? Uh, you do want to be careful of this because it does get very hot. Um, normally you should use gloves, but I'm a gangster, so I don't really need them. Um, and haven't been burned yet, <laughs> so I should probably knock on wood. Anyway, so uh, I'll go ahead and start heating this thing up. If you, if you haven't seen any videos on how to heat up tubing, I highly suggest that you do, but it's actually pretty easy. Very intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it and do it a few times, it's not too bad. So I'll turn on the, uh, the tubing and then it's going to be a little bit loud. Um, I put it on a high and all you do is just kind of rotate it back and forth and I've actually marked the section where I'm going to bend at um, with a pencil and I'll kind of show you here in a second how this all works out and, and how you actually want to do it. And you just want to keep rotating it, maybe move it left and right just a little bit. You want to make sure that the area that you're wanting to, uh, to focus on gets nice and heated. And just keep an eye on it, right? Um, you, also, you want to make sure that your, um, your uh, rubber, rubber uh, tubing on the inner uh, and the inside of it is actually a fairly decent away from the area that you're bending, just so there's no cranks that form. And I'm starting to see it slightly bend. Okay, just a little bit. What's so funny is that online all you see is just a bunch of people making 90 degree bends uh, in their tutorials. 
Um, I probably should come out with a more advanced uh, tubing tutorial um, just because I'm sure there's a need there. I'm sure there's, you could probably find some pretty decent ones, but uh, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not like some expert tu uh, tube bender here, but with enough time, you know, I, I, am, I plan on being fairly good at it. But I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of play on this thing, so I think I'm ready to bend, make the bend. Yeah, it's, it's actually a little bit um, um, loose there. So all you do with the, the kit, move your bender out of the way. Uh, get your kit lined up there and make sure that yeah okay yeah, all you do is just lay it in there at a 90 degree angle you can loosen up the guide a little bit and move it just to make sure. It actually takes a little bit of while to, 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 to cool up or to actually cool down. Um, you can blow on it or you can like a bowl of water. I, I found you can just dip the, the bend into the water and it cools down pretty quick. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, no leaks, no nothing. So if you wanted to go that route, you could. Uh, I'm actually a little bit of, about an inch too long uh, on this side. I was hoping to avoid that, but uh, I'll be fine. I'll have enough uh, enough uh, tubing left. I've, I can't tell you how many tubes I've actually messed up on. I, I've free bended for quite some time um, and uh, have gone through quite a bit of pieces. And, and naturally, whenever you're first starting off with this stuff, it'll it'll take a while to get kind of accustomed to it. You know, but these kind of tools, they really kind of help with everything. But I, I just bended it. You know, this will be a nice clean 90 degree angle here. Uh, these pieces are held in fairly steady. And then the rubber is actually against the PETG, so it won't scratch or anything like that. Okay, and it's actually still a little bit bendy, but yeah, just a nice 90 degree bend right there. Pretty cool, and then you can dip it into the water. Um, I saw this hap um, saw this being done on another video online, and it actually works rather well. Um, somebody out there with more experience, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. If, if I shouldn't be doing that, and you know, do let me know. But yeah, uh, just a nice clean bend there, 90 degrees looks like. Maybe just a tad bit um, uh, not bended, bent, but uh, yeah, I probably should bend it a little bit more. So that's the beauty of it. You can just heat it right back up. And after you heat it up the first time, I find that it actually bends, it actually gets back to um, a heated temperature pretty quick. I haven't actually done any acrylic bending, and I probably won't ever really do any. But PETG seems to work very quite well. I may get into like copper bending and, and like um, metallic tubing and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, we're going to keep things simple here. And I use a number two pencil, um, which probably isn't necessarily the best way to mark where your bend is. It's actually marked in the middle there, and you'll see that it kind of just uh, um, got a little bit loose. If you're not happy with the bend, you can always just take it, plop it right back in. Oh man, I need to remember which direction I'm going from. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. And then, yeah, plop it right back into that thing. And make sure it's nice and sturdy there. See, this is an inch too long on this side, so I'll, I'll actually show you how to cut the tubing here in just a second, or maybe in a different uh, section of the video, but I do at least just want to get the bend down. So that looks that looks a little bit better there. Okay, so nice, uh, just a li little bit of flatness on the top on this end, um, which I'm actually okay with. It doesn't bug me too much. Um, but yeah, nice and clean. And there you go, just a nice 90 degree bend. So then what I'm gonna do here is this actually is, see I'm, I'm all right with this being flat because this is actually gonna be like this. This is gonna come out, down, in, okay? So I need to um, take some measurements on how that's gonna be, so just stay tuned and we'll continue the video here in just a bit. Thanks.
Okay, so continuing on, I've made some measurements and all that stuff. So I also want to kind of show you how you would put together these brackets. So this guy will stay right here, okay? But you would simply take the bolt, put it in through the back, and again, you'll notice that these, these parts have room for the bolts to slide into, right, to hold them steady. And then the rubber on these things also keeps the screw steady. So you just put them in there. Okay, what I'm going to do here is just to make a 90 degree angle bend. Good old 90 degree angle bend. Okay, but I'm bending this way. So just put the first piece. Again, you can peel off this uh, cardboard or the, that uh, paper stuff, but I'm just going to keep it because they're, they're a nice glossy black underneath. Um, looks very nice. But I don't want to. I don't want to scratch them. So, and then you put the piece with the two rubber portions on it in the middle. Take the other guy. Boom. Okay. Unscrew these down. Just want to make sure it's straight. Okay, so we're good to do there.